Sorry for the two week break between this video and the last video in the Connoisseur character analysis series. I was feeling slightly burnt out on these videos, which is why I don't think the Aqua video came out quite as well as the first two. But hopefully that's all behind us as today we'll be taking a dive into the masochistic noble La Latina Ford Dustiness. And PS, this video will have a lot more spoilers than the others in the series, just by the nature of Darkness's character arc. But as always, I will give fair warning to anime onis before discussing light novel exclusive stuff. Darkness is a masochist, it's her most striking character trait, so why not get this part of her character out of the way? Masochism is the tendency to derive sexual gratification from one's own pain or humiliation, or the enjoyment of an activity that appears to be painful or tedious, and in reality, can be a sometimes harmful and dangerous thing. But this is Konosuba, so I won't be discussing the nitty gritty of masochism, merely the stuff that applies to Darkness's character. On a storytelling level, the masochism is used to get across the gapness of Darkness's character in that she acts in a completely different manner than she would appear to. She is a noble girl with blonde hair and large boobs. She is what in many stories would be the typical pure of heart maiden or heroine often the type to be a damsel in distress. And in the story, this is the perception most have of Darkness. Those in the noble world see her as just another noble girl, one ready for political marriages. However, Darkness is no such girl. She may act prim and proper around those of noble standing, but when not, she takes on her other persona as Darkness the Crusader. And it's not like she literally has two sides to her personality, more that Darkness the Adventurer is her true self given full reign to act as she pleases, and that La Latina is just her respecting the customs and acting with the etiquette of her own standing. So when she becomes Darkness, she is no longer a noble and can throw aside her etiquette and ignore the rules of higher society. It is no surprise then that Darkness's masochistic tendencies are more prominent when she is adventuring as a crusader. She is treated with respect due to her beauty and noble status and so was rarely ever spoken ill of or hurt in any way. The closest thing to such feelings she received was being on the end of some lusty gazes. So in my opinion at least, her masochism was born from a desire to feel neglect and pain, something she never got to experience throughout her life due to her social status, and her pleasure from being lusted after due to that being her only taste at a world foreign to her, one of pain and suffering. And since fetishes and such are born from events in your childhood, it is very well possible that these feelings of wanting more than just pleasantries and goodwill manifested into a desire to be hurt. Her masochism is then in complete contrast to her noble identity due to that very reason, which is very gap indeed. Darkness was embarrassed when the adventurers found out her noble identity, possibly due to the fear that they would stop treating her the way they did and start treating her like everyone else as a noble woman. She was scared that she would lose the freedom of being darkness, of being able to act without etiquette, of being able to exist in a world where pain and suffering existed. However, no one treated her any different. They may have teased her a bit, but that was all. And a fun thing to note is that usually Darkness would not be phased by embarrassment and actually enjoy it, but that isn't the case when her noble name is used. This may be because Darkness derives pleasure from pain and humiliation due to it being something she can never experience as a noble, and so when the embarrassment is linked to her being a noble directly, the pleasure would not be as a result of her freedom and escape from the world of nobles, and so would cease to be an otherworldly pleasure and end up as plain old embarrassment. And considering later on in the light novel this is implied she doesn't actually know how sex works, this only leads credence to the idea that her masochism is as much an emotional and mental thing as a sexual thing, as well as the pain and embarrassment themselves that give darkness pleasure, rather than those things in conjunction to more intimate physical activity. So basically, darkness is a masochist due to not being allowed to experience humiliation and pain as a noble, and as such when she is given full reign to be free and be herself, she is drawn to indulge in these things she was deprived of, resulting in the always horny darkness of the crusader. And on a character design basis, she was given these tendencies and this forward and horny attitude to contrast her pure and innocent design. And actually, now that I think about it, her name might be pretty gap too, as well if you look at Darkness's design, without any context, she would appear to be quite holy and pure, with yellow her primary colour being often associated with light and all things right. And since Darkness is the complete opposite of light, it's very possible Darkness's name, just like her personality, was intentionally made gap compared to her design. And also Darkness as a name fits her quite well, as being horny and being a masochist are seen as pretty dark and devilish things, and is the kind of things no pure holy saint would ever do. So in that regard it acts as even more gap. And since Darkness is her adventuring name, when she is free to indulge in her masochistic tendencies, it works on a narrative level as well. As well when La Latina becomes Darkness, she indulges in her darker, let's call them hobbies, and ceases to be the light and right noble that many see her as. 
Darkness is a genuinely nice person and out of the main cast is probably the character who goes out of their way to help people the most. I mean her class as a crusader is great evidence of this, as crusaders by nature act as meat shields to protect their allies. And just like her masochistic tendencies, I think Darkness's desire to save people again comes from her upbringing as a noble. When she was a child she was obviously still a kind-hearted person who wanted the best for the country and its people. But her efforts to aid others came at a distance. She would provide support to others through her position as a noble, and so never experienced helping others herself directly. So of course when she was given free reign as darkness the crusader, not only her desire to feel suffering, but also her desire to help people directly would manifest. She desires what she never experienced before. Like a sheltered girl, she wanted to see and live what she hadn't before. So she became a crusader, one who acts as a shield for others, so she could save people directly. Be it a Demon King General or a Giant Toad, Darkness will fight anything and anyone to protect her country and her friends. I mean later in the light novel, there is a mini arc based around Darkness and her efforts to kill a big old Hydra. Why? Because the Hydra is a threat to the people. However, by the end of this mini arc, Darkness is forced to turn to her fellow adventurers for help, something she didn't do before because she wanted to take the entire burden herself and not let the others get hurt. She is a self-sacrificial character which is a trait very fitting of a crusader. And this isn't to say Darkness did not help people as a noble as well. Throughout the story, as she takes a more leading role in the world of nobles as a Lord of Axel, she does much good for the country and its people. She introduces schools for poor children to learn and even introduces taxes to get lazy adventurers who spend all their day drinking on their pile of money, cough cough chasma, to get off their asses and to start protecting the citizens from monsters like they're meant to. Be it as a crusader in battle or a noble introducing laws and ideas, Darkness always has the best will of the citizens and her country and her friends in mind. She may be a bit easily manipulated by her masochistic desires, but deep down her desire to help others far outweighs any masochism. Major spoilers coming up, as I will be revealing one of the biggest plot twists in the series, so please if you are anime only, skip ahead to this point here, thanks a lot. Okay, so a child darkness was alone, a noble child with no friends due to being sheltered so much which again is why she never got to experience suffering and such up close. However, she did have one thing, her faith, so every day Darkness would pray and pray to her goddess Eris, and what she prayed for was just a friend. And after hearing her praise, Eris answered Darkness's wishes. Eris descended down to Earth and Darkness gained her first friend in Chris the Thief. With a friend by her side, Darkness could finally step out into the world as an adventurer and was finally brave enough to experience those things she had always desired but never got to experience as a child. Darkness just needed a push, a friend to push her out into the world, and due to the help Chris gave, it is obvious why Darkness treasures her friends so much. All it took was one friend to change her life, so of course she cherishes the idea of friendship and those people that call her friend. I mean, as I said earlier, Darkness was terrified of her noble identity being revealed, as she was scared the adventurers who called her a friend would cease to be just that, her friends, and start treating her like a noble that had to be respected. However, they didn't care. Darkness may have been outed as a noble, but no one cared as she was still Darkness, their friend. Kazuma may put his friends first when times get hard, Aqua may always have her friends best interests at heart, and Megami may always jump to defend her friends if anyone insults them, but I don't think any of them cherish the idea of a friend as much as Darkness. This part of the video is again heavy spoilers, so again skip to this time here. Like Megami and Kazuma, Darkness in the light novel participates in a bit of romance by which I mean she has a thing for Kazuma and is arriving in love with Megumin. And unlike Megumin, her and Kazuma's relationship is a bit more one-sided, as although yes, Kazuma was attracted to Darkness, by the point she had made her confession, Kazuma was already fairly loyal to Megumin, and as such Kazuma became another thing Darkness could not have, and well as I have said a lot in this video already, what Darkness doesn't have, she wants, which is why she forcibly takes Kazuma's first kiss and tries to, uh, it's up in the air what exactly her intentions were, but the R word, could be realistically used, as well she was trying to engage in some sexual activities, not that she knew how, and Kazuma didn't seem to up the idea. But what actually happened isn't really important to my point, as all I'm trying to convey is that Darkness took an active step forward towards pursuing her love for Kazuma, as she is a very forward person. And unlike her usual masochistic tendencies, her love for Kazuma appears to not just be pleasure based and be something genuinely more romantic and sexual. As well, Darkness got actually embarrassed by the idea of Kazuma and her doing stuff, and not like her usual embarrassed, more like her being called a Latina embarrassed, showing this is something more than just a simple desire for pleasure and is something much more deep and meaningful. However, Kazuma is loyal to Megami, at least at the end of the story. So whether Darkness would learn to suppress her desire for both their sakes is still up in the air. 
As well, she is pretty bad at keeping her masochistic tendencies under control, but who knows, as she always has the room to develop as a person in the future beyond the story. However, why did Darkness fall for Kazuma to start with? I think it's a mixture of two things. First off, he treats her like shit, which he derives pleasure from, and as her ideal man, in her mind, is a pig that treats her like a slave, I can kind of see the appeal of a sexual deviant like Kazuma. And the other thing comes down to her idolisation of friendship. Kazuma was one of the first people to find out she was a noble, and although he did tease her, he still accepted her nonetheless. She had fears of being abandoned or being treated differently, but Kazuma did neither. However, the real key catalyst that got all this moving was when Kazuma saved her from her marriage of Alder, in a way, saying that she now belonged to him, especially by the fact that he spent a hell of a lot of money to actually save her from that marriage. Though when Darkness did muster up the courage to confess, Kazuma rejected her, causing her to go through some pretty severe turmoil. Nonetheless, Darkness stayed true to her feelings and kept pursuing Kazuma, which is again a testament to her perseverance. So overall, even though Darkness never really got anywhere with Kazuma, at least she tried to her fullest. So for that, I can respect Darkness a hell of a lot. Darkness is my least favourite of Konosuba's four main cast members, and in truth, I do prefer one or two side characters, like my boy Veneer, to her. But by no means do I dislike her. On the contrary, I love her character just like most of Konosuba's cast. I can't really put into words how much Konosuba as a series means to me, so just believe me when I say it, I adore even the most minor of Konosuba's characters. Darkness in specific teaches me one thing, don't be ashamed or embarrassed of what you like and what you enjoy. And no, I'm not going to start showing my masochistic tendencies in public or anything, but if I take away one thing from Darkness as a character, it's that you can enjoy what you want and don't let others stop you. She is someone who truly cherishes friendship and I respect that to the highest degree. I don't relate to Darkness particularly compared to Kazuma or Megami, but even so I will wholeheartedly say that Darkness is an amazing and well-written character. And if you disagree with that, well then you are simply a In conclusion, Darkness was a noble who gained a desire to experience those things she never had before. This led to her masochistic tendencies and her desire to act as a shield to save others. She is not ashamed of doing what she loves and will go to any lengths possible to achieve her goals. She is driven, naive and a bit stupid, but even so is a girl with a good heart who does not get enough love in the Konosuba fandom as a whole. And that, ladies, gentlemen, and people who identify as Neva, was sadly the last video in this series, as I have now covered all four of Konosuba's main cast in what I would say is pretty good detail. However, do not fear, I won't be stopping the Konosuba video train. I have many more videos planned involving my favourite isekai, and will even continue this character analysis series in some form by covering the side characters of the series, with Veneer being first up on the lineup. Though, as this is an anime channel, and not a Konosuba one, you may have to wait a few weeks for that one. But honestly, this series has been such fun to make, and has pulled in so many views and new subs to this channel, so for that I am grateful. So to all you new subs, don't go away. I'm sure there'll be lots more content on this channel in the future for you to enjoy. Comment of the week comes from my good friend and fellow Anituber, Shonen OG. Thanks for the support as always, man. If you have any opinions on Darkness or Konosuba, then tell me in the comment section below. And if you have a suggestion for a future video, then again, the comment section is funny enough down below. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter at SethDS for channel updates and just general chatter. And if you want to speak to me directly, my DMs are always open. Or check out my Instagram at SethTheSin underscore cosplay to see my cosplays on random anime merchandise. So with all that said and done, I have been Seth the Sin, the deadly sin of geek, and I am signing out. Stay safe, everyone.